Hello students, welcome to the episode of Human Resource Management in Indian Railways. For the better understanding, present topic has been divided into five parts. Introduction, Human Resource Management, Types of Jobs Available in Indian Railways, Human Resource Management in Indian Railways, Railway Recruitment and Control Board. Introduction, Transportation and Travel can be discussed without taking tourism into consideration. But Tourism cannot thrive without travel. Transportation is an integral part of the tourism industry. It is largely due to the improvement of transportation that tourism has expanded. The tourism in India cannot be possible without the train journey since it is commonly used mode of public transportation in the country. Trains are not only cheaper and reliable mode of transport in India, but also touch almost all important and less important places of tourism. They encourage tourism by offering different promotional schemes, tour packages, special trains, charter trains, luxurious trains, coaches to tourists, domestic as well as foreign. Indian Railways is the lifeline of the nation whether it is for movement of passenger or for goods. The railways contribute tremendously towards tourism as the prime mode of transport for all kinds of tourists from both domestic and international sector. Indian Railways offers various types of train services such as Rajdhani, Shatabdi, Jan Shatabdi, Dorento, Luxury Trains, Garibrat, Sampar Kranti, Superfast Express, Express Trains, Passenger Trains, Suburban Trains and Metro Trains. Human Resource Management Likewise, many business and industry the tourism industry has also realized the fact that employees are the most important asset of the organization, especially in tourism business like travel agency or tour operator or hotel having a good, skilled, qualified and hardworking workforce can distinguish between which travel agency or tour operator or hotel is good and which is bad. The human resource managers are able to cover almost every aspect of their business. This makes human resource management an integral and significant part of the management in the tourism industry. Because of this, it is better to understand the meaning of human resource management. Human resource management is the process of recruitment, selection of employees, providing proper orientation and induction, providing proper training and the developing skills, assessment of employees, providing proper compensation and benefits, motivating, maintaining proper relations with labor and with the trade unions, maintaining employees, safety, welfare and healthy by complying with labor laws of concerned state or country. For any hospitality organization to function effectively, it must have a resource of men, money, materials and machinery. The resources by themselves cannot fulfill the objectives of an organization. They need to be collected, coordinated, utilized and served through human resources. And the effective management of human resources is also vital. Hence. Human resource management has emerged as a major function in hospitality organizations. Human resource management includes conducting job analysis, planning personal needs and recruitment, selecting the right people for the right job, orienting and training, determining and managing wages and salaries, providing benefits and incentives, appraising performance, resolving disputes, communicating with all employees at all levels, maintaining awareness of and 
compliance with local, state and federal labor laws. Types of jobs available in Indian Railways Employment in Indian Railways is undertaken in four group levels, namely the group A and B who are in the guested ranks and the group C and D who are included in the non-guested ranks. Each of these groups has officer cadre employees which can again have technical and non-technical groups. Recruitment for group A. Indian Railway Traffic Service, Indian Railway Account Service, Indian Railway Personal Service, Railway Protection Force. The Combined Engineering Services exam leads to the recruitment of officers into the followed services. Indian Railway Service of Engineers, Indian Railway Stores Services, Indian Railway Service of Mechanical Engineers, Indian Railway Service of electrical engineers, railway services of signal engineers, non-technical. The various non-technical categories include clerks, assistant station masters, ticket collectors, trains clerks, commercial apprentices, traffic apprentices, etc. Technical. The technical posts in the group C category are usually in the fields such as civil, mechanical, electrical, signal and telecommunication etc. Next is human resource management in Indian Railways. India by rail a fascinating odyssey through time and space cultures and history offers glimpse of unity amidst diversity. No one offers the multidimensional magic of the real India more excitingly than Indian Railways. The largest railway network in Asia and the second largest in the world network comprising 1,15,000 km of track over a route of 65,808 km as on 2014 and estimated to have 7,000 to 7,172 stations. Railways were first introduced to India in 1853 from Bombay to Thane. In 1951, the systems were nationalized as one unit, the Indian Railways becoming one of the largest networks in the world. Indian Railways is an Indian state-owned enterprise owned and operated by the Government of India through the Ministry of Railways. For the administrative convenience, Indian Railways has been divided into 16 zones. Even though the railways have been subdivided into a number of divisions for better management and functionality, the process of booking train tickets is centrally computerized, operating 14,444 trains daily the IRCTC, known as Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation Limited, ensures that train schedules and train timings remain prompt. Moreover, our goods trains transport about 6 lakh tons of goods from one place to another daily. Volume of traffic mode and its relatively low cost to common man makes Indian Railway the prime mover of the nation. Also, journey by train is more comfortable than by any other means of transport. Human resource is the set of individuals who make up the workforce of an organization, business sector or an economy and is the most important factor of production. Every business organization depends for its effective functioning on its pool of able and willing human resources. With 1.6 million regular employees, the Indian Railways as the nation's single largest employer in the organized sector in the country. 
maintain a highly organized human resource management system. The recruitment, training, development, promotions, incentives, privileges, strict discipline, redressal of grievances, etc. are based on sound personal management principles and techniques. However, stiff competition offered from road network and transportation requirement is arising out of accelerated growth of forced Indian railways to gear up for the challenges by the present scenario. For these reasons, Indian Railways is re-engineering its efforts towards the adoption of latest technology and various other measures that are resulting in the downsizing of manpower in the railways. To handle the large number passenger traffic, they need large number of labor force. Currently, railways employ 13.34 lakh guested and non-guested workers. The recruitment and selection of Group A and B officers is empowered to UPSC while the Railway Recruitment Board is empowered to recruit the Group C and D staff. The Indian Railway Personal Service IRPS is a cadre of the Group A services of the Government of India done by UPSC. In service, Group B personnel officers of Indian Railways also have a channel of career progression into IRPS. The officers of this service are responsible for managing the human resources of the Indian Railways which has a workforce of about 1.4 million employees. Management personnel constitute up 1.3% of the total strength while Group C and D account for 89.0% and 9.7% respectively. Of the employees in Group C and D, 3.74 lakhs are workshop employees and artisans and 9.45 lakhs from other categories including running staff. Railway Protection Force RPSF personnel totaled 57,312. In the non-guested cadres, the ratio of Group C to D changed from 25 is to 75 in 1950 to 51 to 90 is to 10 in 2013 to 14, indicating a shift towards induction of skilled manpower. First time in July 1942, as an experimental measure, a service commission with a chairman and two members was established for recruitment of subordinate staff on then Northwest Railway. The position was reviewed in 1945 and the services commissions at Bombay, Calcutta, Madras and Lucknow were set up under Railway Board. In 1948, the Indian Railway Enquiry Committee reviewed working of commissions while recommending their permanency suggested that the work related to appeals should be withdrawn so that commission can give undivided attention to recruitments. Chairman, Bombay Service Commission was given the supervisory role to supervise commissions at Kolkata, Lucknow and Madras. In 1949, due to financial constraints, a ban was imposed on recruitments on Indian Railways. Thus, numbers of commissions were reduced to one centrally located at Bombay. In 1953-54, when economic conditions of Indian Railway improved, four service commissions were again set up at Bombay, Madras, Allahabad, Kolkata. In 1956, the Estimates Committee generally approved the method of recruitment 
by the constitution of the railway service commissions. In 1973, to cater the needs of the Northern Eastern Railway and to facilitate recruitment from the underdeveloped areas of that region, an additional commission was set up at Muzaffarpur. In the same year, a branch office of Kolkata Service Commission was opened at Ranchi. In 1978, one more additional service commission was set up at Sikandrabad to cater for the needs of newly formed South Central Railway. Recruitment of staff for the needs of NF Railway was still being done through recruitment committee controlled by NF Railway. Thus, in 1978, this job was entrusted to full flood service commission with headquarters at Gauhati. Yet another service commission was opened in 1980 at Bengaluru to cater for the needs of candidates from remote backward areas of Karnataka. In 1981, full flood service commission was opened at Dhanapur. Seven more commissions were set up in 1983 at Ahmedabad, Ajmer, Bhopal, Bhuvaneshwar, Chandigarh, Jammu and Srinagar with setting at Leh and Trivandrum. In 1984, two more service commissions were set up at Malda and Gorakhpur and a full-fledged commission at Ranchi was set up to cater for exclusive needs of scheduled tribes of that area. In January 1985, Railway Service Commissions have been renamed as Railway Recruitment Boards. In the year 1998, all RRBs came under the control of the Railway Recruitment Control Board, which was set up in the Ministry of Railways to coordinate and streamline the working of RRBs. Thus, at present, 21 Railway Recruitment Boards are Ahmedabad, Ajmer, Allahabad, Bengaluru, Bhopal, Bhuvaneshwar, Bilaspur, Chandigarh, Chennai, Gorakhpur, Gauhati, Jammu, Kolkata, Malda, Patna, Muzaffarpur, Mumbai, Ranchi, Sikandrabad, Siliguri and Trivandrum. In the railway recruitment drive during 2014-15, examinations were conducted for 48,822 vacancies in 284 categories. Objectives of Railway Recruitment Control Board to rationalize the workload on existing RRBs, to expedite selection process, to bring the recruitment agencies nearer to the candidates in the far-flung areas and interior sites, to conduct recruitment on all India basis. Indian Railways is administrated by the Railway Board, which has a chairman, five members and a financial commissioner. Recruitment and Selection Indian Railways is administrated by Railway Board which has a chairman, five members and a financial commissioner. Indian Railway classifies its employees in four groups, Group A and Group B or non-guested staff, Group C and Group D, other group. A and B officers are selected through Union Public Service Commission, they are civil servants. In case of jobs in Group A and Group B, candidates belonging to SC and STs will be given preference if equally qualified and meritorious. Selection of Group C employees is also an national basis through the RRB recruitment board which is run by existing railway officials. Group D employees are recruited through RSBs with assistance of the local employment exchanges. All zonal railways fill 15% and 75% of their vacancies in Group C 
and group D categories from the candidates belonging to SC and STs respectively. Training and development. This is of paramount importance to Indian Railways as it concerns transportation, hence safety. All new recruits undergo training when they join. Guested officers train at seven centralized training institutes. The training needs of non-guested staff are being taken care of by 291 training centers located across India. These training institutes and centers specialize in various functional training based on the different functions or departments. Railway personnel also receive periodic training in the form of refresher courses or when new method or technology are introduced. Guested officers additionally undergo management training courses at premier institutes both in India and abroad. Indian Railway Training Centers in India. Indian Railway Institute of Civil Engineering, Pune for Civil Engineers. Indian Railway Institute of Signal and Telecommunications Engineering, Sikandrabad for Engineers of S and T Department. Indian Railway Institute of Mechanical and Electrical Engineering, Jamalpur for Mechanical Engines. Indian Railway Institute of Electrical Engineering, Nasik for Electrical Engineers. Indian Railway Institute of Transport Management, Lucknow. PF Academy, Lucknow for Officers of Railway Protection, IRPS. Indian Railways Personal Service. IRPS stands for Indian Railway Personal Service. It is an organized group, a service of the government of India. It is a unique service in view of the fact that it is the only service amongst the group A and all India service catering exclusively to the discipline of the personal management in the government of India. It may be noted that in India, Group A services form part of the highest of the public service corps de elite responsible for higher branches of administration. IRPS came into existence with the effect of 1-1-1976 pursuant to promulgation of the IRPS rules 1975 by the President of India on 2012-1975. The expertise of the IRPS officers in the HR field and the government sector has been much in demand to the extent that nearly 10% of these officers have been serving on deputation in the other ministries of the government of India and state governments. IRPS officers manage the entire gamut of HR functions that impact over 1.3 million serving employees and 1.4 million retired employees of Indian Railways. The wide range of important functions handled by them includes the following. Formulation, interpretation, implementation of HR policies, manpower planning and right sizing, recruitment and appointments, background and confidential checks by coordinating with district administration, career records, management and employee, compensation and employee benefits, career progression and seniority, performance appraisals, selections, assessments, promotions, training and development and talent management, employee reward and recognition, negotiation with unions, employee welfare and staff benefit fund, pension and other retirement benefits to retired employees. Present scenario of human resource functions in Indian Railways. The 21st century has witnessed India undergo sweeping economic changes. Riding on a host of factors, India today stands at the cusp of becoming 
one of the top four economies in the world. A growth rate of over 8% prior to the slowdown was despite the inadequacies of infrastructure at one organization which has shouldered the infrastructural burden of the transportation sector in India's growth story is the Indian Railways. The transformational turnaround would not have been possible but for Indian Railways employees who are its true assets. Indian Railways is the world's ninth largest commercial or utility employer by number of employees with over 1.6 million. Conclusion, human resource is a set of individuals who work for the workforce of an organization, business sector or an economy and is the most important factor of production. Every business organization depends for its effective functioning on its pool of able and willing human resources. The recruitment, training, development, promotions, incentives, privileges, strict discipline, redressal of grievances, etc. are based on sound personal management principles and techniques. However, stiff competition offered from road network and transportation requirement is arising out of accelerated growth of the Indian economy have forced Indian railways to gear up for the challenges by the present scenario. For these reasons, Indian railways is re-engineering its efforts towards the adoption of latest technology and various other measures that are resulting in the downsizing of manpower in the railways. Thank you.